Bahan Our school ethos is one that we make sure all of our students feel confident to go and take their place in society. By doing this, we ensure that they're going to be successful in their future and that they feel confident also while they're here. So we think, encourage them to develop as both uh, citizens of our school academically and to make sure they take part in things outside of our school. We also support the individual as a young person, giving them support to develop as individuals to recognise what they're good at, to support what they're not so good at with their social skills and academically. And to help them to uh, take their place in society by working, by taking part in work experience placements, by working with our local college to ensure everyone finds their niche in the world and is encouraged and feels successful in what they do. Well, the whole process begins before they join the school because during the summer term when they're about to start in the September lots of visits and lots of contact is made with the pupils and the staff who've been working with them and the parents to begin to build a picture of the individual students and then once they're into school obviously we have a set of procedures which we offer all students but sometimes those procedures aren't ideal for each individual so we'll be looking for more individual programs for some of the young people who have chosen to come to Priory School and are going to be with us throughout their five or seven years here so it's really supporting them to grow and develop so that by the time they leave you know they have gained the most they possibly can out of their years. I think it's a question of uh, engaging the learners in what they're doing at school. I think motivation is a key aspect of what we do here at Priory. So we'll continue to motivate and engage students with a wide variety of pathways and different options. We focus on three things. One is we want them to be successful learners. Secondly, we want them to be confident individuals. And thirdly, we want them to be responsible citizens. So we'll continue to focus on those uh, three aspirations for our school. At the same time, we're very keen to make sure they understand what good behaviour is. And um, we talk about care, courtesy in consideration to our students and I think that's important that they understand that's what we believe in as a school and I think it's important that parents understand that when they come to choose a secondary school. A significant part of the transition process has been the work that we've done this year on SEAL. SEAL stands for Social and Emotional Aspects of Learning and this has really helped the children in terms of self-awareness and becoming responsible for their own learning. They've spent a lot of time focusing on what motivates them, particularly in their tutor times, and particularly in things like sport and in the arts types of lessons. This, this particularly helps bring the whole curriculum together. Every child needs to be an emotional learner and they need to have a tie-in, and SEAL has allowed us to do that. And we're very proud to say now at Priory that we are the lead school status for secondary in North Somerset. We've also set up a budding system and the idea is we've selected 25 Year 7 students from our current Year 7 and they will buddy up with the new Year 7s that are coming in. We will have approximately five buddies per new Year 7 tutor group, so each tutor will have five current existing pupils that are good, outstanding pupils that will help them and they will know to go to. I think the ethos of the school is a calm, happy place where learning is priority. The lesson is always the main event. There are people like myself who are non-teaching heads of year that then have that time to dedicate to pastoral care so that the safety and the happiness of the student is catered for as well. I've been here for six years but this is my first year as principal of the school. Previously to that I was assistant head and then deputy head. Um, but all through those years uh, we've always had one very simple strap line and that's we put students first uh, in everything we do. It's their achievement at the end of their time with us that matters most to us. Whilst at the same time we really do cherish our staff, we think a happy staff makes a happy school and therefore good learning in the student body. Uh, and that's proven now to be a very successful strategy in terms of our results. One of the unique features of our particular school is we've got three non-teaching heads of year. 
These are people who do not have any teaching commitment whatsoever, um, so they can praise, they can go in classrooms, they can reward constantly through their daily working practice. But also, if there are problems in terms of transition or uh, attitudes to learning, they're immediately available to be able to respond to parental need. Our school involves um, students as well. We've got student voice, which I think is good that we get a say in what we want to do at school. Um, there's a student voice group um, and they voice ideas from their tutor groups to the council and, um, and the school does something about that. And then there's a student researchers group um, I'm part of the student researchers group and we go into lessons and we observe the lesson then we feed back to the teacher. I think basically at most schools there is a kind of school council like facility available but I think this school really uses it to the best it can. Um, things that our school council have done include changing the lunchtime arrangements which is really important for kind of having a break throughout lessons. Another thing the schools can consulted us on is the uh, new change in curriculum. We have a full governing body of 20 members uh, made up of local councillors, staff, our non-teaching staff, our parents, uh, our community governors who often are parent governors who have stayed on to continue as, as a governor when their children have left. Uh, it's a very vibrant, very strong governing body. The leadership was fantastic, the teaching was brilliant, and it's really set me up well for, um, for my college work, and I'm planning to go to university after college. I've lined up Bristol, Exeter, Cardiff, and uh, possibly Kings in London if I do well enough. But yeah, I definitely recommend Priority 21. It's really set me up well for where I am now.